Today, we are gonna strengthen and sculpt your arms and shoulders so you can make the most of this beautiful day. Now, join me for our warm up, and as we go through this warm up, I'm going to explain the structure of this workout as well as what you should be looking for when you pick your weight to really maximize our training time today. So, let's go ahead and get right into our warm up, and if you'd like to start your watch, you can do that now. We're gonna start with big arm circles back, so both arms, nice and big circles here. So for this warm up, we're actually gonna go through some of the some of the exercises that we have in this workout to really start to activate the muscles so you can make the most of this time. Three more. Here's three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go into wrist circles, so just warming up the wrist. Now for this workout today, we have three rounds. In each round, we're gonna have three, and the last uh, round, we're gonna have four exercises. We're gonna repeat those rounds two times each. For the work timer, we're gonna be set at 40 seconds. Rest in between sets is gonna be 10. Rest in between rounds is 30 seconds. Two more here, here's two. And one, now we're gonna take, just gently pulling back here on your fingertips. We wanna start warming up the forearm and the wrist area. So with the weight that you're gonna pick today, I want you to pick something super heavy. I'm going to be at the top of the range that I go for each of my exercises. So for example, my biceps, I'm gonna go with 20 pounds. Shoulder press, also gonna be trying to work in the 20 pounds. When I do tricep overhead extensions, I'm gonna pick probably 30 pounds. So really, I'm gonna work super heavy today. This is going to help you strengthen and also build that shape. So that's why I want you to lift heavy. Don't be shy, you can always go down in weight if you need to, but really make the most of this time. So now, if you have some very light weights, I want you to grab those. If you don't have something super light, light I want you to just work through the exercises without that weight. So grab your light dumbbells if you have those. We're gonna start by just going through bicep curls. So arms down, focusing on our form. Taking your time through these and just waking those muscles up. I'm glad you joined me for the warm up. And that's because when you actually go through the warm up, it's going to help you from the very beginning of when we focus on building that strength because you're going to be able to go heavy, those muscles are going to be warm. It's also going to help you to prevent injury because if you just start out cold, oh, that's not a good idea. <laughs> so I'm glad you're here with me. Two more and then we're going to go into just a shoulder press two and one. So turning those arms out, shoulder press here and down. So during Sweet Summer Sweat, which is what we are in right now, week two. So if you're interested in Sweet Summer Sweat, you'll find that in the description. But we are all about making the most of our training, really training with intention so we can maximize our time. So we have more time to do what we love and do it the strongest that we can be. Two more, and then we're gonna do tricep overhead extension. Right there, stop it at the top. Hands together, down and up. Last one here, and then we're gonna be ready to get into our very first round. Five more. Make sure you're paying attention to form, going through that full range, really getting ready. And last one, awesome. So we're going into bicep curls then shoulder press, then tricep overhead extension. So have your weights nearby because remember, we only have 10 seconds in between each set. So go heavy, let's get strong, grab your dumbbells and let's do this. All right, so bicep curls first. Make sure you've got that good starting position. Shoulders roll down and back, slight bend in the knees and let's begin. Take your time all the way down, squeeze all the way up. Now I've got one heavy dumbbell out here, you can see that's gonna be for tricep overhead extension when we get there. Now during that tricep overhead extension, you can always go with two dumbbells. I just prefer to lift one because I find I always pull my hair out when I have two. So do what works best for you. Getting ready for shoulder press next. Now with that shoulder press, we're gonna take the lower down nice and slow. Here's three, two, and one. Nice job. Quick with the rest here, so bring those dumbbells up, five seconds out, shoulder press, normal tempo up, and then slow lower, here we go. Up, now take it down nice and slow, slow here. You can work at your own slow pace, but try not to go too quick. When you hit the bottom there, right back up. Now nice and slow, control it. Did you go heavy enough? By the last about 10, 15 seconds, should be very challenging. 
Like you really have to focus, you really have to dig to get those last couple of reps out. That's how you know you're going heavy enough with our training today. Almost there. Nice and slow, five seconds out. Here's three, two, one. Now that tricep overhead extension. So if you have to switch your dumbbells, do it quickly, grab it, bring it up, five out. Here we go in three, two, and one. Normal tempo, but if you're going heavy, that pace might be a little bit slower. So after this set, you're gonna get 30 seconds to rest, then we're gonna repeat these three exercises once more through. Five seconds, here we are. Three, two, one, nice, all right. Dumbbell down, 30 seconds out. I want you to think back now. Can you go up in any weight? If you can, grab it now. We've got 20 seconds. Back to those bicep curls, so get your dumbbells. 15, and we go. This, uh, this combo, the uh, biceps, triceps, and shoulders, one of my favorite combos to work, for real. I love it. Five seconds. Let's go in three, two, and let's curl. I like working arms and shoulders because I feel like once you really start to build those muscles, those are three muscle groups that really start to pop out and give you that definition. So that might be one reason I really like it, but I actually like it too because I feel like I'm so much stronger in my everyday life. And to me, that is highest priority when it comes to training. So when you train with me, I'm here to help you get stronger in your everyday life. And then, you know, the definition and all those goodies will just come along with it. Whew. Almost there. Here it is, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now remember, shoulder press, but we have that slow low in it. Bring the dumbbells up. We've got three, two, and one. Here we go. Up, normal pace, slow low. Now, as you're lifting heavy, form is gonna be super important to keep you safe, but also to work the muscles properly. So make sure those hips are tucked under, you're not rounding your back. You're not shrugging your shoulders up as you press. Still keeping that upper body relaxed. Whew. Slow, low. Here we are, three, two, one tricep overhead extension. Ooh, switching it up quick. Bring it up. We go in three, two, and one. Ooh. Ooh. Same thing here, focus on that forearm, hips tucked under, slight bend in the knees. You can take a wider stance if you're more comfortable with that or a staggered stance. Really up to you in that foot position, whatever gives you the most power. <sighs> Exhale as you press up. Almost there, three, two, and one. Nice job, this is the 30 seconds of rest. Now we're moving on to three new exercises. So again, three exercises we're gonna repeat twice. You're working heavy. Cross body curls is gonna be that first exercise. Then we're gonna hit the shoulders again with Arnold press. Finally, tricep kickbacks with a little hold at the top. So get all those dumbbells ready to go. I actually think I'm gonna have a quite a bit here. Let's try. All right, so cross body curls, shoulders rolled down and back, core engaged, and let's begin. Squeeze, good. So one side here gets a little break as we curl, which is a bonus. Keep that arm nice and close to your side. Arms are tucked in right next to your body. So you don't want your arms coming out and away. So make sure everything stays nice and tight. 
Coming next is Arnold Press. We're almost there. Counting you down, here's three, two, and one. So Arnold Press, Whew, it's going by quick, bring them up. Here's three, two, and one. Press it out. Now make sure with this that those wrists are staying nice and straight. Think about punching the ceiling, but keeping those arms nice and strong. And you exhale right here as you push. Almost there. We're gonna hit triceps next. Here's three, two, one. Tricep kickbacks, you're gonna hold at the top. I'm going down to my lightest weight of the day. 10 pounds for this, this is a tough one. Hinge at the hips, back flat, core engaged, arms up, and let's go. Hold it for a second at the top, then control it back down. If you can count to three here at the top, hold it, three, two, one, and back in. Hold it. Three, two, one. Wrist stay straight. Now I'll let you count your own at the top, but make sure you're holding it really, keeping that muscle under tension. Good. Oh, 30 seconds to rest after that. So don't lose focus here. Keep working, keep pushing. Almost there. Here's three, two, one. Go. <laughs> one more time for that round. We're gonna repeat. So again, think about the dumbbell weight that you picked. Can you go up? If you can, go for it. I'm telling you, this is going to help shape you and define you. It is not going to bulk you up. So go big, go, go heavy. We're working hard today. Five seconds out, going back, cross body curls. So get your dumbbells. Going in three, two, here we go. Good, and really squeeze. The one thing with these shorter training sessions, listen y'all, I am really helping you. Uh, this helps you train your mind too, because you really have to stay focused to make the most of the time. So as we do this, I know this is gonna be tough on the muscles, but challenge your mind here too. Really focus, stay in here. Here's three, two, and one. Arnold press. All right, going in three, two, and one. Let's press. And exhale as you press up. Good. Keep it strong. Almost there. A couple more reps. Then we're gonna finish with those tricep kickbacks. Whew. Here's that countdown. You got three, two, and one. Nice job, tricep kickbacks. Remember that hold at the top. <sighs> Quickly moving into position, arms up, and let's begin. Back flat, core is engaged. Those arms stay nice and close to your body and elbows up. Think about a string from the back of your elbow right up to the ceiling. So you do not wanna let those arms sag down. They're staying up nice and high and we're holding it at the top. Don't mind me, just for getting the hold. Hold it. <sighs> Ooh, that awesome 30 seconds of rest is gonna be next. <sighs> Last one, three, two, one. Amazing. All right, let's talk about those next three exercises, our final set through. So to finish out, we've got hammer curls, but we're gonna take a nice slow pace up. We're gonna do snow angels for the shoulders and finally 
side lying tricep extension. So this is where we're gonna have four exercises to make sure we hit the right and the left on the triceps for both for that last exercise. So get your dumbbells for slow up hammer curls and let's get ready. Going in three, two, and one. So take it nice and slow up. Count your slow here. Maybe your five count, eight count. Once you hit the top, back down normal tempo. Come on, bring it up for eight, six, four, two, one, and down. Nice. Arms stay close, even as you're lifting slow. Good, this is three, two, one. Snow angels next. So grab those dumbbells, getting ready. Going in three, two, palms away. Lead with the thumbs, let's go. I love this shoulder exercise. I just think, oh man, feels so good. Now you can't go too heavy on this one because those arms are so far away from your center of gravity. So you are lifting a little bit lighter, but it works. Like it is working, it is burning. And it feels so good. We're almost there. And then remember, we're gonna bring it right to the mat for sideline tricep extension. This is it, three, two, one. Nice job. Right onto one side, you can start right or left, whatever you feel comfortable with. That bottom arm is gonna come across, top arm is down on the ground, and let's press. So keep that arm close to your body, and really think about extending right here, pressing all the way up through the heel of your hand, feeling that tricep. This is, oh my word, a tricep burner. Good, again, make sure that arm is nice and close to your body. Almost there and we're switching sides here in three, two, one, right over to the other side. Get right into position. Bottom arm comes across, top arm stays nice and close. And let's begin. Take your time. I'd rather have you go through that full range of motion at a nice slow pace than trying to rush through and only getting half of the range of motion. When you're not getting that full range of motion, you're not working that muscle to its full potential. So just remember that. So super important, even it's not about the number of reps, it's about your form and it's about how complete you can work through that rep at a heavy resistance. This one, obviously we're not lifting anything, but last three, Two, one, amazing. All right, going back at it. So bring it on up. Ooh, hammer curls with the slow lift. We still have 15 seconds. Adjust your weight if you can. This is the last time through. How awesome is it to work for 20 minutes and accomplish this much? Okay, you are the bomb. You were so close. Last time through these four exercises, 30 seconds, two, Remember that slow lift. Here we go, arms close. Take it up nice and slow. Remember full range of motion. And down. Nice and slow. Keep those arms tucked in. Over halfway. Ooh. Almost there. Come on, this is it. Three, two, and one. Ooh, snow angels, grab those dumbbells. Palms out, leading with the thumbs in three, two, and let's go. Now, as you start to take that move up to the top, make sure those shoulders are not shrugging. So keep them relaxed. Right about halfway, you have to think about relaxing the shoulders. 
Taking it up, wrist stay straight. Almost there. Two exercises remain. You have got this. Here it is, come on, control it. Three, two, and one. Right to the ground for sideline tricep extensions. All right, and let's begin. Arm is close to that body as you press. So really think about putting the weight in the heel of your hand and pressing up. Good, and down. So remember, we just have to switch sides. Three, two, and one. Right over to that other side. Take that arm across. Ooh, going in three, two, and one. Here we go. And press. Control yourself down. Make sure you're not just dropping back to the ground. So really control it. Halfway point, you've made it. That means less than 20 seconds of work. Oh my word, this exercise is such a burner in the best way. Here we go, three, two, and one. You are absolutely amazing. Now, if you are gonna go out and have a beautiful day, do not forget, hit the thumbs up to let me know. If you are interested in Sweet Summer Sweat, find that down in the description below. I would love to train with you to be the strongest we can be this summer. And if you are done with your workouts, grab a stretch. It's gonna feel so good. I love you so much. You are amazing. And I'll see you at the stretch.